Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how do I find out the EAC by using the financial calculator. But before that, we need to figure out the MPV for the different, pro different machine here. Let's say we have machine A, the initial investment is 500,000, the useful life is 5 years, and the pre-tax annual operating cost here is 100,000. So how can I find out the MPV for the MPV here? So as you can see here, okay, they have the operating cost of 100,000. Okay, and at the same time, they do have some depreciation. And in this question, assuming that the depreciation is on a straight line basis. So what I can say for the machine A, the depreciation will be equals to the 500,000 divide with 5. So I'm going to get 100,000 for the depreciation. Okay. So bear in mind that if you want to get the operating cash flow, okay, for the machine A, you need to use a specific formula here, okay, where it's equivalent to um, the operating cost, and you have to put a negative here, negative 100,000, uh, multiplying with 1 minus the tax rate, which is 30%, and then we try to add back with 30% times, okay, times the uh, depreciation, which is 100,000 here. Okay, so straight away we can get the answer. Okay, so here will be 100,000 negative times 0 0.7 and then plus 0 0.3 times 100,000. So overall, my OCF, or we can say the operating cash flow for machine A will be negative 40,000, as simple as this. Okay, so bear in mind that the first 100,000 here, okay, is actually the operating cost. And then the second, 100,000 here is referring to the depreciation here. Okay, right. So after we get the OCF, then we can easily get the MPV for machine A. Okay, so because we understand that the useful life is five years. So what do what can we key in here is, okay, we can just simply key in the CF. Okay, our CF zero, which means is the initial investment here. So I try to key in 500,000 for my CF0, which is my initial investment, okay? And remember that we have to put a negative sign for this, okay? And then we press enter, and then we proceed to the next one. So we have a C1. So the C1 here is referring to your operating cash flow here. So it can key in 40,000, and it's negative as well. And then it's going to repeat for how many years? It's going to repeat for five years. So here you have to key in five, and press enter. Okay, then after that, of course, you can proceed with the MPV already. So you try to press the MPV button. And after that, you try to key in the discount rate, which is 10%. Okay, then you press enter, you're going down again. And then after that, this you, you can see MPV and then zero here. Try to press the button of CPT, or we can say compute. Then you will get the answer for the um, MPV easily. Okay, so right, let's see what is the answer for the MPV. Okay, I try to zoom in a bit. Okay, on my um, calculator, yeah. So I try to key in everything again, yeah. Okay, so CF first, key in CF. This is my fig the figure that I key in just now, and this one will be the C zero one. Okay, the C zero one. Sorry, the C zero one just now here is five thousand, and then the F here should okay something wrong with my CF one here. It should be forty thousand. Okay, it's negative, and press enter and going down. The F here should be five. And then going down again, I press MPV. My I is ten percent. That's correct. And then going down again, and then I try to calculate my uh, MPV again. So it's going to be negative six hundred something thousand. So my MPV here is negative six hundred and fifty one thousand, and then six hundred thirty one point four seven. Okay, as simple as that. So how do I find out the EAC in this scenario? Okay. So it's very easy and simple, okay? What you have to do here is you have to clear everything that you have. You clear all the works that you have here, okay? Right, so let us clear everything here. Okay, so for EAC, you have to key in in this way, okay? Remember, the 651,631.47 here, even though it's your MPV, but you need to assume it as your present value. So you try to key in 651, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, six five one and then six three one, 
0.47 okay and then after you key in this in you press PV okay immediately you are telling the calculator that okay your present value now is this figure and then after that you try to key in the number of the years here which means the five years period so we key in five and then we key in n because the n is representing the number of the year and then for the i it's going to be 10 percent so here i'm keying 10 and i key in the i again so the eac here is basically equals to the pmt here so what you're going to do here is you compute the pmt then immediately they will tell you the answer so the eac here will be negative 171,898.74 okay so this one will be the uh, eac for the machine a okay so you can just repeat the work okay for the machine b as well so as you can see yeah okay the first thing we have to find out for the machine b will be the depreciation okay so over here let me find out the depreciation for the uh, machine b okay it's going to be six hundred thousand assuming it's a straight line basis method as well so six hundred thousand we divide with 8, we get 75,000 here. Then after that, okay, I try to uh, figure out the OCF as well. So the OCF here we equals to the operating cost here, negative 90,000. And then times uh, 1 minus the 0 0.3, the tax rate, and then plus the depreciation, okay, plus the depreciation, and then multiplying with this 0 0.3 as well. And this is how we find out the OCF. Okay, so over here we have 90,000 times 0 0.7 and then plus 75,000 times 0 0.3 and we will get negative 40,500 for the OCF. Okay, so next, I'm going to continue to key in my initial investment. Okay, it will be negative 600,000 is given here. Okay, and then I'm going to key in enter and go down again. So my C1 will be my OCF here which is a 40,500 remember to include the negative sign and then it's going to repeat for eight years okay so i'm going to press eight here okay and then i press enter and going down and look for my mpv okay remember my i is the same so i have to key in um enter as well go down and then key the cpt and my mpv now will be 816,000 and then 64.51 so how do I get the EAC for the machine B? It's very simple. Remember, this figure is going to be your PB. Remember, you can just ignore about the uh, negative sign, yeah? Okay, right, so over here, okay, I keep 816,000 and then 64.51 as your PB. Okay, then after that, your N is going to be eight years. You key in eight and then key in N. And then for the I, which means the interest is also 10. You key in 10 and then the I, and you press CPT and then PMT. So immediately you know already your PMT going to be negative 152,966.41. So when you do the comparison, you will see that the EAC for machine B is slightly lower in terms of the figure. So my conclusion is I'm going to choose machine B. Okay, that's all. Thank you.